Hello, Familia. Blessed be the Lord. This is Isaiah chapter 10. Woe to those enacting crooked statutes and writing oppressive laws to keep the poor from getting a fair trial and to deprive the afflicted among my people of justice so that widows can be their spoil and they can plunder the fatherless. What will you do on the day of punishment when devastation comes from far away? Who will you run to for help? Where will you leave your wealth? There will be nothing to do except crouch among the prisoners or fall among the slain. In all this, his anger is not removed and his hand is still raised to strike. Woe to Assyria, the rod of my anger. The staff in their hands is my wrath. I will send him against a, against a godless nation. I will command him to go against a people destined for my rage, to take spoils, to plunder, and to trample them down like clay in the streets. But this is not what he intends. This is not what he plans. It is his intent to destroy and to cut off many nations. For he says, aren't all my commanders kings? Isn't Kalnol like Karchemish? Isn't Hamath like Arpad? Isn't Samaria like Damascus? As my hand sees the idolatrous kingdoms, whose idols exceeded those of Jerusalem and Samaria, and as I did to Samaria and its idols, will I not also do to Jerusalem and its idols? But when the Lord finishes all his work against Mount Zion and Jerusalem, he will say, I will punish the king of Assyria for his arrogant acts and the proud look in his eyes, for he said, I have done this by my own strength and wisdom, for I am clever. I abolished the borders of nations and plundered their treasures like a mighty warrior. I subjected, subjugated the, the inhabitants, for I brought down their kings. My hand has reached out as if into a nest to seize the wealth of the nations like one gathering abandoned eggs. I gathered the whole earth. No wing fluttered. No beak opened or chirped. Does an axe exalt itself above the one who chops with it? Does a saw magnify itself above the, one, above the one who saws with it? It would be like a staff waving the one who lifts it. It would be like a rod lifting a man who isn't wood. Therefore, the Lord God of hosts, Adonai Zavot, will inflict an emaciating disease on the well-fed of Assyria, and he will kindle a burning fire under its glory. Israel's light will become a fire and its holy one a flame. And one day it will burn up Assyria's thorns and thistles. He will completely destroy the glory of its forests and orchards as a sickness consumes a person. The remaining trees of its forest will be so few in number that a child could count them. And that day the remnant of Israel and the survivors of the house of Yahav will no longer depend on, those who, on the one who struck them. But they will faithfully depend on the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. The remnant will return, the remnant of Yahav, to the mighty, to the mighty God, Israel. Even if your people were as numerous as the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will return. Destruction has been decreed; justice overflows. For throughout the land, the Lord God of hosts is carrying out a destruction that was decreed. Therefore, the Lord God of hosts says this, My people who dwell in Zion, do not fear Assyria, though he strikes you with a rod and raises his staff over you as the Egyptians did. In just a little while, my wrath will be spent and my anger will turn to their destruction. And the Lord of hosts will brandish a whip against him as he did when he struck Midian at the rock of Oreb. And he will raise his staff over the sea as he did in Egypt. On that day, his burden will fall from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck. The yoke will be broken because of fatness. Assyria has come to Ayath and has gone through Megron, storing his equipment at Michmash. They crossed over at the ford, saying, We will spend the night at Geba. The people of Ramah are trembling. Those at Gebea of Saul have fled. Cry aloud, daughter of Galim. Galim. Listen, Leishah. Anna Anoth is miserable. 
Madmana has fled. The inhabitants of Gibeon have sought refuge. Today he will stand at Nob, shaking his fist at the mountain of daughter Zion, the hill of Jerusalem. Look, the Lord God of hosts will chop off the branches with terrifying power, and the tall trees will be cut down, the high trees felled. He is clearing the thickets of the forest with an axe, and Lebanon with its majesty will fall. Glory be to God, Father God. I cannot wait. I will <laughs> wait, but I'm excited. Blessed be the Lord. Get excited with me, familia. Seek our God in his face today and stand on the solid foundation of Lord Yeshua. And never be shaken as the world is devastated and burned all around us. We can rejoice and dance in the Lord, knowing that our God is just doing as he promised. In the mighty name of Jesus, I look forward to your justice, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your justice be done. Hallelujah and amen. Bye, familiar.